Hey guys, what's going on? Ken Raider here for Raider Sports. How are we doing tonight? As you can see, I'm not in a room. I am under the, well, clouds now, but under the full moon and it's about 70 degrees out. It's very nice. I got the cigarette here. I got a glass of wine. I'm just relaxing, enjoying my Friday night. I just got done kind of watching the Bucks game or what was left of it. It was pretty uh, one-sided and not really much to talk about but I'm not here to talk about the books I'm here to talk about my video earlier today I promised you guys a more thorough uh, video speaking of the Anthony Davis trade when Jackie McMillan earlier earlier reported that Gail Benson said that she'd only trade 80 to the Lakers over a dead body I didn't know it was just kind of an off-the-cuff remark that she made on some stupid podcast and Gail Benson has since come out and vehemently denied ever saying that. And I don't see, and I, and I only see one of two things. Either one, Gail Benson is just trying to save face by not, you know, rocking the boat with their franchise. And two, or two, Jackie McMillan broke rule number one and you'd never put words in other people's mouths. Now, let's talk about why the Pelicans wouldn't want to trade Davis to the Lakers or to anybody else. They just won the draft lottery. They're going to have Zion Williamson. The trading Anthony Davis is their priority. They could see a one-year window in which Anthony Davis, Drew Holiday, and Zion Williamson can create a big three. They can actually, you know, make a playoff run. And guess what? Anthony Davis would have nothing to do with it. That's one. Reason two they may not want to do, want to move them, is that the Lakers don't have the assets to do it. They don't. I mean, they're about to move Lonzo Ball to Chicago for the seventh round pick. I mean, for the number seven overall pick. That's That leaves one as that leaves one asset off the table. Kuzma and the others, they can't seem to stay healthy for it. So there's injury concerns there. I don't see why anybody would want, why they would even want to deal with the Lakers at this point. It, it's not as enticing of an offer as it would have been three months ago. Now we got to look at the fact of okay why would you want to trade Anthony Davis now that you're gonna have Zion Williamson and Drew Holiday to create this big three that I'm talking about and I'm so sick of the super teams I can puke but this would be kind of creating a team kind of through the draft and doing it the right way even though it, even if it makes out to be a super team I'm okay with that what I'm sick of is the Durants and the LeBrons running the show and when I heard this I was overjoyed and then I come home and I'm doing more research on this and Stephen A. Smith tells me oh no it's it's all it's all hogwash and, and and if it is true you know there should be an investigation blah 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 well there really shouldn't be an investigation because they they don't really want to move them they don't have to and Magic Johnson saying that they didn't negotiate in good faith and all that it's pointless. It's it's ridiculous. I just hope LeBron James does it does not get Anthony Davis because once again it would be LeBron forcing the league to do what he wants, and it would show that you know he can interfere in franchises. He interfered. He drove his own team to pretty much hate him. He drove Magic Johnson to leave. He drove. Uh, the Pelicans to stop playing Anthony Davis costing costing the Pelicans a playoff spot costing the Pelicans playing Anthony Davis costing the, the team and creating all this big drama over nothing because he is the Le drama king and so I was overjoyed when I heard somebody finally say no we're not going to give in to LeBron we are not going to let him collude 
our uh, team and our franchise. We are not going to let them interfere with our business. And then I fear that it's all coming down upon me like a ton of fucking bricks. That no, nobody ever said that she didn't say this. So Jackie McMillan put words in uh, Gail Benson's mouth. Or Gail Benson is lying and just trying to cover up the same thing. I'm not sure which one it is. Really, I don't care. It's just been that kind of day, that kind of year, that kind of franchise. Just, when I think of my sports fandom, I just want to, like, scream. I woke up this morning to find out the Bruins finally eliminated the Canes, and they're probably going to win the Stanley Cup over the Blues and Sharks as they beat each other up in a seven, in what I believe is a seven-game series, while the Bruins are just kicking back, relaxing on the dick under a full moon with a glass of wine. Then I have Miami. Oh my god, what what hell can we talk about when it comes to the Dolphins? Thank god I don't have a team. I mean, I'm wearing this uh, Charlotte Hornets hat. I don't really have an NBA team, but I'm a huge Michael Jordan fan. I would love to see Michael Jordan succeed as an owner. Uh, my girlfriend, she's from North Carolina. She's actually spent some time in Charlotte. So, you know, Charlotte seems like a good fit to me. And then they get number tw then they get picked 12 and it's like, okay, they suck. No Kemba Walker next year most likely cuz he said he'd rather win than resign. Or he hasn't said he's not going to resign, but he said he'd rather win, which to me says he's not going to resign. So, we got that. The Lightning were swept. So, my fandom is just messed up. And so Way to keep me, bring me up, and then drop me back down, Jackie Mo, McMullen. Okay, guys, I'm going to try to enjoy the rest of my night. Thank you guys for watching. I'm sorry this got, got done a little later than midnight, but I had issues when it come, came to charging this up. My phone was dying after work, so I had to wait to charge it, and so, and all that shit. So, guys, thank you for watching. I'm Ken Raider for Raider Sports signing out.